So wait a minute until she gets on. What we're going to do, counselors and kids, you can start thinking. This is a little bit smaller group than the other time, so it's a little bit more fun of a group. So we're going to do something kind of fun. Yeah. Late night groups usually a little smaller, more intimate. Um, we're going to, uh, counselors, do two truths and a lie. So you need to think of three things about yourself, one of them being not true. And then the, each counselor is going to share it. And then we're going to have the kids kind of guess which one is not the truth. So I need to listen to that. It's just kind of a way of getting to know your counselors better. It's just a fun way of doing it. So I'm going to go over here. I'll go first since it was my idea. Give everybody else another minute to think. And I am lag, lag, lag. I lag right into the fire. Ah. Yeah, you're way too close to the fire. <laughs> I once walked into a bonfire and never actually burned. That's one of my... No, I'm only kidding. Um, Hi! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, these, can be either, these can be either SL um, things, uh, counselors. These can either be SL things or RL things. I'm choosing okay. to say three RL things about me, real life things. Um, so everybody listen up. Um, and uh, how's Bria going? Did she get her dot back? Is she able to hear? I don't know. Um, yeah. No, I can hear, but I don't think you can hear me. I hear no, you. We hear you too. Yeah, You're fine. Okay, okay You're fine. good. Anyway. Okay, we're doing we're doing two truths and a lie, Bria. Okay, oh, I'm going oh, first. It can be about SL things or RL things. So everybody, listen up. Okay, all kids, listen up. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say three things. After I say the three things, I'm going to let you guys guess whether it's one, two, or three. So you can say one, two, or three, and we can see who's right. The first, so so we're going to say three things. So so you will say the number one, two, or three. Okay, and we'll see how many, you know, who. We'll see if enough people guess the right thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, say one, two, or three. So number one. Okay, you got it? Here's my number one thing. My number one thing is five years ago I ran a 5K race. Okay? That's my number one thing. Don't guess, no, don't guess yet. Don't guess yet. Wait until I say all three, okay? My number two thing is I once in the Sierra Mountains literally was kissed by a bear in my face Ooh. literally question with tongue okay. or <laughs> number three <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to go into detail <laughs> okay I'm tired I'm it sorry it was a big I'm bear tired. let me tell you I'm getting I'm getting loopy um, I'm tired anyway <laughs> okay, number, okay, you guys heard number one, number two, now let me give you number three. Number three, at the age of 49, I climbed a glacier and reached the top of the summit at over 14,000 feet. By myself, by the way. Which one is it, one, two, or three? That's a lie. <laughs> Neils. <laughs> they all sound true. Four was not an option. <laughs> there are a lot of ones in there. There's a lot of ones in there. One was and a lie. So I never two's ran in there, too. Two, yeah, but two is true. Two is true. Two is true. Two is true. The one <laughs> is the lie. I never ran a 10K race. Yes, I was kissed by a bear in the Sierra Mountains. You yes, were not I was kissed by a bear. By she said almost. The key word was almost, though. Okay, almost. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think she I don't think he was kissing you. From what you night. told me, well, he his was nose, not. his nose was, his nose touched my nose. His nose Ooh. touched my nose, so it was that's a kiss. Yeah, was it was an Eskimo, Eskimo kiss. kiss. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I felt his wet nose on my nose, and some of the I kids in my class know that. Like Alana, I told that story before in my class. I so a few kids already knew that. Pants. I knew that one. <laughs> well, oh. I almost did, Don. I almost <laughs> did. I shivered for a while and I froze till he wandered off. <laughs> 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 now I'm married to him, no pain. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, a lot of you, um, a lot of you guessed right. Number one was the lie. I never ran a 10k race. <laughs> anyway, all right. So I'm gonna, yeah, Bear Chris. No, Bear, he was actually cute, and uh, he was, but it kind of scared me. I was kind of scared. I kind of froze. But anyway, um. <laughs> You gotta be careful around bears. They can, they're strong. They can tear open doors. I've seen them tear open car doors before. Um, I was actually staying at a place once, and we there was a bear that actually did push in one of the panels on the garage for the house we were renting. Wow. Welcome yeah. back. Wow. I was a particularly big bear yeah. from letter sand. Um, couldn't get in. Couldn't get in at all. But it was trying to steal our cake, and I'm not even lying about that. The bear was trying to steal our cake. Wow. Hmm. Huh. Yogi, Yogi Bear. Probably. Yeah, yeah, it could have been something in the frosting or something they liked, smelt, smelt good to them for some reason. Honey, no, no, yeah, it, was it was sweet. One. I know the people yeah. who, the person who was maintaining the plot, they told us that they had a bear, like, the sliding glass door was unlocked but closed, and the bear opened the sliding glass door. Oh, wow. Okay, Jill. <laughs> Jill, it um, is. Okay. <laughs> it okay. is your turn. Everybody listen to Miss Jill. Well, why not say, I, I love summer. That's my favorite season. That's number one. Uh-huh. Um, number two, my, head is, my hair is red in real life. Uh, number three, I used to ride 10 miles on my bike. Every day. I assume. Yeah. Every I weekend. Assume. Every weekend. Every weekend. Which one do you think it is, guys? One, two, or three? A lot of threes in there. Yeah, I think the threes got it. Oh, that's true. I did used to ride 10 miles on my bike every weekend. That's true. You didn't get that one. Which one was the lie, Miss Jill? My hair is not red. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> I'll send you a to myself. <clears throat> Oh, oh gosh. Right. So, yeah, Miss Dawn's turn. Some of you guys were in my class, so you're <laughs> going to know some of this. Thanks, so It's Gimby. not really fair. Because um, I talk about it. a different one. one. Um, let's see. Well, I thought about doing SL, but then a lot of you know about my SL. And a lot of you know about my real life because I talk about myself. Um, okay, let's see. I can make it easy. I have had... Let's see. I could do real life. Um, there was a time that I had a police officer in the back of my car. Uh, let's see. There... I have four kids. Wait, wait, that number one was the police officer. Number two is four kids. Yeah. Is that number it? two, I have four kids. And okay. number three, there's Make so many memories. I know, well, no, there's just so many <laughs> memories in my head. I'm trying to use one, and it's just like. <laughs> Let's pick one at random. I know. I used to live in Texas. Okay, which one is it, guys? One, two, or three? Oh, I think it's three. <laughs> Everybody's saying Everybody three. Everybody's thinking three. For the most part. Mm -hmm. Wow. Y'all, th wow. I don't think those people count because they know me. 
Is that true? Is that the lie? That's the lie. Number three is the lie. But the reason I had a police officer in the back of my car, I was I had borrowed my older sister's car, and it had it in transit sticker. And this is back when they were legal. And the officer pulled me over, and he literally had to crawl in the back of my car to actually read the sticker, even though it was viewable on the outside. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Volunteer, next counselor. Which okay. one? Uh, Bria's next to me, board? so... Well, we let Bar go first. We'll go Bria. Yeah, he said go, he wanted go to board. go. Okay. okay. So let's see, three things. I play the alto sax is number one. Number two... Wait, what did you just it, say? Number one is I play the alto saxophone. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, huh? <laughs> number two okay. is I've been to Disneyland. And number three is I used to work for WWE, or World Wrestling Entertainment. What was number two you invented at what? He's been I've, been to to Disney. I've been to Disneyland. Disney number World? three is I've or, or used, I used to work for W. Okay. And number three is I used to work for WWE. You know, I'm your girlfriend. and I don't know any of those. Like I never knew any of those. Oh my god! What's this? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Matt, I'm surprised no. you got a lot of twos. <laughs> Some people should actually know this for sure, and I know Peyton knows at least one of which one of his shoe because I've told her about it. Um. So the lie is actually, the lie is number two. I've never been to Disneyland. I used to work they for WWE, and I do play the sax. Yeah. He's been to Disney World a bajillion times. Oh, yeah. Really I know. I get, I get pictures Disney all the time. You confuse me, boy. Gosh, I'm thinking. Yes, yes, yes. That's yeah, why I did that. Sure. And that's why also I picked WWE, because I used to be a stagehand. I, I have been a stagehand for WWE in the past. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fake and, I, and, I, well, and I've been playing saxophone that. since I was. Let's see. Ten. Well, you're talented. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I haven't played much in a while, though. I mixed up Disney World and Disneyland. I'm going, huh? Well, I also figured but a lot yeah, of people wouldn't it. think I'd ever work for WWE because that's not a particularly common thing to hear. <laughs> yeah, but. It's certainly plausible, so I don't know. But yeah, yeah. yeah. there. No, I know Peyton's um, heard because I talked to her about I talked to her about working there. So. Okay, so how about Rice? Since she's there, you have to share. You got okay. three, two truths and one lie. Okay, so number one is this is my second camp as a counselor. Let me turn number you. Number two up. I can't hear is my well. favorite food is cheesecake. And number three is, I think Mr. Borg's really smelly. <laughs> really what? <laughs> smelly. Smelly. <laughs> number one was, she's been, this is her second <laughs> camp as a counselor. I think number two. <laughs> I think it's number three. Do you need me to retell you them, Kimmy, so you can guess? <laughs> Okay, number one is this is my second as a counselor. Second number as a counselor. two is my favorite food is cheesecake. And number three is I think Mr. Borg is really smelly. Okay, so tell us which one, Rice. Well, Kimmy's one. still guessing. Well, it is like actually number two. I hate yes. cheesecake. Yeah. I don't like cheesecake. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I didn't know. I actually I knew it was number two because I didn't know. I didn't know she hated cheesecake, but or I'd forgotten about it. But I knew it wasn't her favorite food. Just spam Dallas right, and Febreze. We, <laughs> we got Bria. We got we got five more counselors still to go through. Golly gee. Miss Mario, go, go next. next Bria? I you came go back. Next, Mariah? I yeah. everybody. Oh, great. Hmm. We'll let you go, Mariah. And uh, we're doing three truths, two truths and a lie. Yes, yes. So I'll come back. back. Krista, yeah, we're doing Thank two you. truths and a I lie. Thank you. I thought I was so. gonna go bowling with my sister, but it turns out she was working. So <laughs> right. it makes it a little difficult. Yeah. 
uh, you can help us out here. So you get to share in a little bit. So you can think of three things, two truths and a lie. And we'll pick on you. Oh my god, the problem um, is is my Tink wait. and Cadence know everything about We're not allowed to guess. We're not allowed to guess. So it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to guess. You yeah. can always come okay. up with something deep dark in your past that that no one uh, knows about. We don't. We don't. We know that too. There, I don't mean <laughs> dark. I mean, I mean deep <laughs> in. Oh, yeah. like a long time ago. Okay. Um, my partner didn't know them, and I didn't know mine. So, you know. let's see. Um, I have. I I live in a family. I'm a regular Brady Bunch family. Um, my dad had three girls and my stepmom had three boys and so there's six kids three and three um what brady bunch oh my goodness <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go <laughs> um no no the youngest one didn't have curls the, i'm the middle and i had curls um let's see the i have Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. <laughs> I have um, written and directed plays, um, and let's see, number three, I used to be a flight attendant and have been to every state in the United States and uh, every continent except for one. I would take a wild guess that one's Antarctica. Two. Two. I'm gonna say number two. Let's see. Well, we have ones and threes mostly. Mostly ones. I you think there's no know? twenty-four. <laughs> a twenty-four. Nine. <laughs> What? Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> the threes oh, have it. The threes have it. Um, no. I no. I was a flight attendant. That's a half truth. That's a half truth. <laughs> I was a yeah. flight attendant, but I have not been to every um, continent. I've been to every oh, wow. state in the United States except for two, and uh, except Hawaii. No, yeah, Hawaii and um, um, Alaska. Alaska. And mm -hmm. I have I have been to um, Europe and um, um, a couple other, but I have not been to um, um, China, and I haven't been to um, oh, what's that mm -hmm. one down under down over there, Australia. Yeah, so I've been to Australia. <laughs> haven't been to Bora Bora. That's true. I, I have, have been, been to Australia. To, I, I actually thought about South using America, that sort of my truth. North America. And so that's the other. But I did I did write and direct plays in high school um, and college for my um, um, church and a, a youth group. Don't worry, but you'll get a new one soon. Miss Tink, would you like to go next? Yeah. Sure. <coughs> okay. Number one, I have a Tinkerbell tattoo in real life. Number two, Mommy. I've met the entire cast of Supernatural, if you know that's the television show. And number three, I have a service dog in real life. Mm. And you can't guess, I, Mother, so shush. I know, I can't answer this. <laughs> <laughs> two. Looks like most are twos here. Most people are saying two. What was number one? Number one was I have a Tinkerbell tattoo in real life. Number two. So most of them are twos? I see twos and threes. <laughs> it's it's hard when you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Cause I know. 
Yeah, I can tell. I, I lagged there for a minute, so I wasn't sure. I saw like a bunch of twos and threes. Yeah, the answer, the lie is number one. I do not have a Tinkerbell tattoo. All right, thank you, Miss Tink. Um, sorry, I was yes. typing in chat. Um, what the um? Okay, who else have we not gotten yet? We haven't gotten who? I could go. Who's Me? It's Mora. Miss Chloe, Ma, Miss Krista. Ma and Chloe and Krista. Krista. Um, Krista. Um, Mari, you want to go? Sure. Okay, so my first one is I eat snails. Oh, that's a lie right My Second one is I love skydiving. And my third one is I have petted an alligator. Oh man, that's really hard. What do you guys think? Good. And if you like skydiving, we're going skydiving later in the week, so. <laughs> You get it wrong every time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and the lie is I love skydiving because I have never, ever, ever been. Oh, wow. In, in real life, anyway. <laughs> I do eat escargot. I love it. I could eat it all day long. And never tried it. I have petted a baby alligator because I live in Florida, so um, I got okay. to pet one. Cool. Oh. <laughs> wow. I wish I've petted an alligator at some point, actually, a baby one too. Not, a, not <laughs> since I've lived in Florida, but. <laughs> really? She petted okay. an alligator? <laughs> I guess it's my turn. Yeah, we got two more. Chloe, go ahead. Yeah. Alright, um, number one is I worked at a museum for five years, but somehow I got to meet two celebrities, Renee O'Connor from Xena Warrior Princess and Cynthia Nixon from Sex and the City. Two, I love theater, history, and baking cakes. Three, has no family who plays Second Life. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I think it's I have no family who plays Second Life. Is that? Oh, the most of them are saying three. It looks like. Yep. They guessed it. They guessed it. How would they know? Because <laughs> they're smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kind of figured that one out. <laughs> Yeah, my sister plays, but my all my family played in one time or another. <laughs> cool. All right, Krista, last but not least. Okay, let's see. Okay, number one, I have never been outside of the United States. Number two, I uh, I got <laughs> I got my dog, my first pet which was a dog when I was still in high school. And uh, I've played the violin since I was in fourth grade. No, fifth grade, sorry, fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lie. Fifth that grade, good... yes, fifth grade. Yeah, um, so what do you guys think? Looks like most are saying two. That looks like two's winning. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, if you're going to bed, um, we wish you the best. If you wait a few minutes, we might be able to give you tuck ins. Just wait a couple minutes. But Good night, everybody go. going to bed. Okay, are we ready to hear the answer? Yeah. Two. Tell us the it's answer. It's actually number one. I have been outside of the United States when I was in high school. Oh, you, you fooled them. You fooled them. 
I, when I was in high school, I went to uh, Europe with my high school orchestra. Cool. So, mm -hmm. oh. And I had a Shiba Inu that we got when I was in high school. We'll see you later, Andon. Take care, sweetie. Maybe. Um, if any of you want... If any of you want tuck-ins now, we can do that. Um, if you want to stay around camp and stay up and do crazy stuff half the night, you're welcome to do that. Um, the <laughs> person who's the counselor on duty will announce that in the group, thank you, thank so you'll know who that is. Every There's a counselor on duty all night long, and they will announce in the group, in a notice, and also talk in group chat to remind you every once in a while that they're the one on duty, okay? So you'll see an announcement popping up pretty soon. You'll know who the counselor on duty is. Thank you, counselors, for sharing with us. Hopefully we all got to know our counselors a little better tonight, sharing some fun stuff. So <laughs> I can lead a t tiny bit of credibility to it because Nookhart's creator actually is Bria. Really? I'm actually what? Yeah. What? The creator of a note card that your daughter just gave for some of us. Mommy! <laughs> uh oh. What did she give? I didn't get one. That's, that's a nice feeling. <laughs> yeah, really. It's, a, it's, it's called Attention Staff Regarding Rachel. Mm -hmm. And it says you wrote it. Uh oh, Rachel. No, Skyla. Mm -hmm. I I think maybe you need to um, maybe ground <laughs> it it's, and have it's not have like, to go to camp. It's huh? been like locked and no mud. <laughs> it says <laughs> camp staff. Rachel may not be put in time out or made to write lines. This says disturbed behaviors from Rachel that you won't want to see. If she gets in trouble, send a note card to her daddy, and he will address <laughs> Her daddy will give her candy. candy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. <all> right. <laughs> uh, I think, Rachel, you need a timeout now. And, and this is perfect, perfect, though, because now you kids all know that these types of notes do not work on the counselors. So, yeah. so Rachel, <laughs> I think you're going to write. need to write a million lines tonight. I will oh not God. pass false notes. I will well, not. your first mistake, Rachel, is you gave the note out while your mom was standing right here. That was your first <laughs> yeah, mistake. Yeah, that was your first mistake. <laughs> yes. I will not forge my mommy's signature. <laughs> or Miss Dawn's police officer will come visit me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lottie, your dad would not write that note. Okay? He's standing right here, too. Gosh, you guys don't know how to get away with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs>